What's going on, guys? So, up front, I have to apologize for the audio quality. It's not the greatest. I was doing a music video with a friend, ended up letting him borrow just every microphone and recording device I had. So this is what we have, but I felt compelled to make this video. It's my first FPV anything video. Um, as you can see behind me, I've, I've got a little FPV, you know, zone going on um, to start building. It's a really fun hobby, but what I did find was there was no information about this issue uh, with the RXSR, I believe, receivers. Um, and I just wanted to make a video so it's easier to find. I'm also going to link the original forum that helped me eventually um, fix this issue. But what I want to do is explain a couple things, and then we're going to go and we're going to look at one that's messed up, doesn't pair, um, won't bind, won't even really enter bind mode. And I'll show you what that looks like and how to know if that's a problem you're facing. Or maybe you're just new looking to get into this and you're like, ah, I don't really want to mess with firmware and stuff. There will be messing with firmware and stuff. So uh, what you're going to have is you're going to have a receiver, this little guy, and it comes with an adapter right here. Um, so some videos are going to tell you to open up the back and plug in here. The radio I have is... Uh, Tyrannus QX7, not Access. It's the ACCST version. And on the bottom, I have this little, I think they call it S bus or something, plug on the bottom. And what that allows me to do is to plug right into the bottom. And when we go into the settings after we download the correct firmware and we flash it, um, it's going to give an option to flash directly to S bus instead of flashing external device when it's plugged in here. Now, when it's plugged in here, the wiring is also not correct, so you have to repin everything. So this is just easier for me if you have the same radio, same receiver, do it this way. Let's get to it. I'll take this one. Make sure you have the latest version of OpenTX installed, guys. That's going to make your life a lot easier if everything's up to date. And we're going to come down here and click bind. One to eight. LM on. So it'll start making that noise, okay? I'm going to put this on the other side of the room. Okay, just let me show you what lights we get. You can hear my radios in bind mode. Um, if you plug in without pressing the bind button, what you're going to get is a blue light. And that blue light means S bus. I don't know if the light doesn't show up or if it's a different color, if it's CPPM, but I want S bus. So that's how it's set. You got the red flashing light, and that means that it's not paired yet. So, the first thing you do is we're going to press this down. I'm going to show you what it does. Basically, you hold this down while it's plugging in power. In my case, I'm plugging it into a laptop because it's easier. You hold that little button down, and it's supposed to enter bind mode. And when it binds, you'll get a red flashing light, and you should be good to go. Let me hold that, plug in. Okay, so now what we have is a green, a red, and a blue. Nothing's flashing though. This is the problem. Okay, this is not really in bind mode, and it's not, you know, we have no flashing light, no feedback that it's been bound. So let me show you how to fix that. Okay, I'm just going to briefly flash up here. Um, this is where you go. It's going to be in the description. Follow the link. Download this file. Pick your version, EU or FCC. Um, I do FCC because I'm in the U.S. You're going to do all that. You're going to copy it to the memory card. And this is stuff that other people have done really good videos on, so I'm not going to cover it. But copy, drag and drop the file you want. Like in my case, it's the FCC version. Drop it onto your memory card. Um under firmware, okay? Then you're gonna plug in. In my case, I'm plugging into this S bus here. And then I have my receiver just plugged in. I'm gonna hold this down. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Die okay. off. Deactivated. Acro mode one. And then for me, I I made a uh, a receiver flash thing. Throttle I'm just gonna. Warning. 
I'm just going to enter it. Basically, it was set up to not supply power to the internal module, but the external um, so that I could get power back here. I'm not sure if it's needed to flash the S bus or if it's just needed to flash that um, to provide power to that module in the back. But I'm just going to use it anyway. And um, I can't see any harm in doing it. Uh, so you're going to hold the menu button down, these three bars here. And then you're going to hit page, and there's your firmware. Now, these are the other two. So there's an Access 2.1.0 and then um, ACCST 2.1.0 for FCC. I tried that one originally because I'm an idiot. Then I tried this one because I wanted to see if it would work. And when it didn't work, I used the file here that is um, the version before 2.0 came out. So you're going to click on this, sorry, hold, and then it's going to give you an option to flash blah, 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 you don't care, flash S port. Now, if you're doing it from the back, what you would do is do flash external module, not internal because it'll screw everything up in your radio. Just do flash S port. And then this part's really boring and it takes a while. I normally make coffee or something and hang out. One other thing, uh, you'll get some lights. Yeah, I get the right distance here. You'll get some lights, you'll get a pulsating green light and then you'll get a red light that slowly flashes on your receiver. That's how you know the update's in progress. And now we're all done. Basically it gave me a nice beep. It says flash successful, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to shut this off or just unplug it. I normally just shut it off and unplug everything. So now I'm going to get in here. I'm going to hold down the bind button, plug it in. So now I have a green light and a red flashing light and a blue light. So the red flashing light, remember before it was just solid, the red flashing light means binding has been, has been good. We're good to go. So I'm going to click OK on bind, shut off the transmitter, unplug this, plug it back in. I'm going to take a couple steps back and turn the, the transmitter on because when I'm too close it loses telemetry, too many electronics. So turning it on, then you're going to see that red light is going to stop blinking. I got telemetry. All right, guys, that's basically all I have for you. I really hope this helps get some of you guys in the air that might have been having the same issue as me, having a bunch of receivers laying around. You're like, what the hell is going on, you know? If you like this video, you know, give it a like maybe. I really want to get back into making more content. It's not only drones. You can check through um, mostly tutorial videos, some shooting videos when ammo becomes more available, just stuff like that. I know the audio sucks. Aside from that, let me know what you think. Any uh, constructive criticisms and what have you that you have, leave it in the comments below. Let me know if this worked. If you have more questions, I can try answering them. But again, I'm pretty new, but I'll do my best. All right, guys, take care.